Welcome to another Axis webinar. I'm Chris Kunna, your application specialist here. Today we're talking about plastics and cutting industrial plastics specifically. So we have a couple of options here. Something like this we've a little bit more in the sign industry, right? We have a big K, nice one inch piece with some pockets. But like I said, we're talking about industrial plastics. So we're gonna be talking about big UHMW pieces you're gonna see in conveyors. One of the examples that you're gonna see here is we're gonna be cutting some gears in a couple of different styles. We're gonna be doing some counter boring and you can do this on any of the Axis platforms, but today we're gonna to be cutting on our Trident machine. But uh, let's jump right into it. Let's get some cuts going and uh, have a conversation. Boom. So as you see, we're ready to cut here. We are on our Trident, but uh, you know, we can cut this on any one of our platforms, but a couple key features that I wanna point out whenever you're processing industrial plastic specifically. Uh, right here on our side, we have our Vortex cold gun. This is basically shooting a cold stream of air on our bit. It helps prevent melting, rewelding, keeps our bits in good condition. We're also using our high capacity pressure foot, getting a really good seal. And that in combination with our iVision system, which is our 4.8 model back there, we're gonna get really good chip collection, make sure that we're getting all that material out of there, keeping the bits cool, maintaining that really good finish. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to use O-Flute tooling for this because we want those chips up and out of there. We don't wanna keep them in the channel, but that's gonna give us still a really nice finish. We're gonna be cutting this at about 200 inches a minute, and uh, we're gonna basically do all of our profiling work, holes and pockets with the same bit, try to keep it as quick as possible with our tightness. So let's get right into it, let's get some cutting. So here we are, we're at our all-in-one here station. So as you can see, we have a couple different gears. We've got a couple of pockets, some bigger slats for ramping. We're gonna be doing some counter boring, some counter sinks. And we're doing this pretty consistently with a 3 8 O flute, um, as well as a couple tooling V-bits for our counter sinking. And as you can see, we got a nice tight nest. We're gonna use the maximum of the sheet as best as we can. And uh, we're gonna jump right into the cutting. When you're ready, let's do it.
So some use cases for UHMW here, uh, you know, you're gonna see this on conveyors, packaging, it's great for bumpers, guards, because of its very low friction uh, and excellent abrasion resistance. You're not gonna get any damage to your parts if you're sliding something, say, down that conveyor or so forth. Uh, it's got a very low moisture absorption. It's really easy to process, easy to fabricate, uh, very easy material to work with and machine uh, in varying thicknesses from your 3 8 to one inch in the three quarters that you see here. So coming over here to an example with a carriage on it and an assembly started. So you can see these guys have butted up against here. We keep the rails intact. We don't chip any of the paint. Nice solid surface for the material to slide on without any scratches, abrasions, or any friction. That's why actually we also will use this UHMW material on the donuts for our high capacities and five wise. That way, if you're trying to prevent scratches, we can use that as an option that allows us to glide on the surface of material to prevent any scratches, abrasions, or damage to your material. As you see here, some nice good finished pieces.
Awesome, so our cut's done now. We've turned our vacuum off. Let's take a look at our parts. As you can see, nice clean passes. Looks good. Uh, even uh, little guys here, they didn't even move too much, but we're okay with that. Cool shapes. I don't know if anybody caught it, but the puck shooting up the dust collection was really cool. Uh, but here we are, yeah, our parts are all done. Vacuum held great. That's what we're looking for. Nice tight nest. As you can see, we're doing our best not to waste any material. We're going really quickly there. Um, and some nice big parts here to finish it off. So basically we're gonna put some hardware into these guys and take a look at the final pieces, check our counter bores and our counter sinks. But uh, yeah, there we go. So we got our finished part here. You see we put a little bit of hardware in, check our countersinks. Look at that, we're right under our surface on our countersink and our counter bores. As an example of something that'll get mounted in either a conveyor system, um, for obviously you want a little bit of slickness in the parts, uh, so we're not rubbing on anything. But look at that, it looks great. We can mount that into a conveyor system very easily. Show, showcasing the different versatility of the machine from countersinking, counter boring, um, any type of profiling you're looking to do, we can support it. Uh, by all means, go team.